Hello everybody, Jason up New Age Revolution down here in the cave for just a, uh, a quick Saturday drop-in. Nothing really, you know, too huge going on the big show tonight. Just, uh, just a quick touch base with you and uh, talk about some upcoming programming for this week on the show. Uh, if you have not seen it, or if you are not aware, uh, Mrs. Rev and I did a show last night. Um, when we did the uh, <clears throat> the TN80s-R half-hour power hour with Mrs. Rev, the interest in it was uh, massive. And so I brought her back to do a, you know, kind of a quick... I, I don't have a lot of ideas for us uh, to, you know, get her and I on a steady show. I'd like to. Uh, last night we... We drank some uh, some fall Bud Light seltzers and just kind of bantered with that. And it, it, you know, it's it doesn't it doesn't seem to be <laughs> as popular as our first show together. Uh, so, uh, but you know, she wants to be a part of it uh, on occasion. You know, like you know, you know, a show, a show within a show, right? So you know, this thing that we have always done will stay the same. But I'd like to add some things. You know, I added the mental health component, which we'll keep doing. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll try that for, you know, three or four episodes and see if the interest picks up. Uh, but uh, first thing I would like to put out to you guys is what would you like to see me and uh, the wife do? Uh, what, what would be of interest? I mean, we are going to do a house tour. and but it, But if we keep it just... Like bringing her down here for '80s discussion, it's going to end real quick because she doesn't. There's not a lot, you know, not a lot going on there. So, you know, would you like us to? I don't know. You, you know, you want us to play Nintendo together? You want us to just talk? Uh, I thought maybe we could cook. You know, if you want to see us cooking, now, I don't know. I, I I don't know. It's it's you know the the channel can always morph and grow and take different shapes and. You know, so I'll plug in things, but you know, let me know if there's if there's something that you would like to see us do, that you think would be a good show, or a good ongoing show. Uh, let me know. <clears throat> what else? Uh, like I mentioned last night, the tracking, the tracking number from XOX Customs uh, fooled me today. Uh, I think she just sent it out yesterday, but for some reason. I kept getting this notification that it was coming today, and I was like, mm, that's not really possible, but I was keeping hope alive. And lo and behold, it did not come. It's supposed to be here Tuesday. My next package from XOX Customs, uh, Etsy. Go check them out on Etsy, XOX by Random Treasures. You've heard me talk about this again. You're going to hear me talk about it a lot more on Tuesday because there is something huge coming from them. Uh, they have created... Uh, I don't even want to give it away. I don't even want to spoil it. I don't want to tell you. But they've created something. Figures. Figures, guys. We got more LJN customs coming. I don't even like to call them customs because they're just so good. They're just so so natural. right? So that's coming. Uh, I wanted to do a show... I thought about <clears throat> you know pulling a toy line from here. And taking a closer look at it, right? Just kind of picking apart the toy line a little bit. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is the Dukes of Hazard uh, Mego line, the three and three quarter inch figures, in addition to the General Lee car. And uh, I figured I would just show those off first. You know, take a close look at them, um, and and just you know go through the figure line. Uh, item by item and, and discuss. When I was doing a little research for the Dukes of Hazard Mego uh, line, I realized that there was an, actually an unproduced playset that blew my mind, and uh, we'll we'll talk about that. So that's coming up this week. Uh, we've got plenty more questions for the uh, TN80s-R half hour power hour, so we'll do more of that. I am well into the first week of shows, uh, WWF, July 1984. I'm currently watching a Philadelphia house show from July 7th. Uh, and we'll do that in probably 
we'll probably recap each week if there's enough shows to talk about. So in any given week in the WWF, there could be three shows. I mean, there could be a house show, there could be a championship wrestling, and there could be a TNT. So, you know, we could end up talking about it each week, you know, just going through each week of the month. And, I, and we did that with June. I think we did th I think we did three shows or four shows for June 1984. Uh, but good stuff happening in July. In July 1984 already. And we know that the MSG House Show with uh, Cindy Lauper, or, um, yeah, Cindy Lauper, Wendy Richter, and Mula is happening in July as well. So we'll get to talk about that. We'll start to see where that leads. We all know where that's leading. Ultimately, this is building up to WrestleMania and, you know, pretty much a, a WWF takeover. What else? Uh, the Mental Health Show. Some people have asked for topics. Uh, generalized Anxiety Disorder, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, OCD, we'll talk about. And, um, I don't know, we'll just we'll just do some education about diagnoses and meds. I also wanted to talk about what an antidepressant actually does. How does an antidepressant work? Um, there's so many people that I see that tell me that they take an antidepressant like Prozac or something, and it makes them feel like a zombie. And it's not it's not really how it works. It doesn't really have that kind of an impact on you. Um, I have some people who tell me that they took two Prozac today because they were feeling really depressed. That's absolutely pointless. And we'll talk about why and what it does to our brains and all that stuff. Um, I still want to do... So we haven't got a new G.I. Joe in a while. We have not bought a new G.I. Joe figure in a while, so you haven't seen any of that. Uh, I don't know why. There's really no reason. I guess it, it gets hot and cold. You know, I hit the collection pretty hard. You know, and uh, was was getting figures all the time, and now it's kind of slowed down. It's not over by any means. We're going to finish that line, uh, but that stalled a little bit. What else? Uh, I wanted to. Uh, I was I, I, as I'm going through the 1984, 1986, 85 TV guides. There's just so much to talk about. Just from just from reading those TV guides, there's so much to talk about. You know, stuff that just doesn't exist anymore. Television concepts that don't exist. Oh, such simplicity that doesn't exist. Um, something as simple as what, what, I, what I've noticed in TV Guide. Something as simple as uh, religion and church services absolutely flooding the networks on Sunday mornings. And I, you know believe what you want to believe about, you know, as far as the faith world goes. I just thought it looked so comforting <laughs> and so throwback that, you know, you you could do that. You could sit home on Sunday morning and watch as many church services as you wanted. Um, what else? I mean, that's, you know, I still want to do, I still want to do like vintage horror night, that kind of thing. I still want to do that. Oh, the commercials show that you guys really liked, where we just like, you know, where I just pull a bunch of commercials and talk about them and, and you know, share some memories about the commercials and the topics. That's still on board. We're still doing that. And that's that. So the, the summary of that is uh, let me know what you would like the wife and I to do on the channel, if it interests you at all. Um, if you don't want, you know, a, a guest host, uh, that's okay too. You know, let me know. Um, but our first video got such, you know, an, a, a rush of views. You know, it's like over 1,200 views, which for my channel is outstanding. Um, so I wanted to try to, like, capture that magic. But, you know, let, let, let me know what you'd like us to do, if anything, on the channel. Or if you just want us to create something, almost like a reality type show, you know, us just kind of maybe living, you know, just, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, another thing that I'm going to do as back to school comes, as I told you, I would take, uh, take you back to my elementary school and uh, go through that area of town, take a look at the school, take a look at the, uh, the playground, you know, which has obviously shrunk since I was a kid. Uh, the playground has shrunk. I believe the bathrooms have also shrunk. Uh, but I want to take you back to St. Pius 
elementary school, walk around that building a little bit and, and tell some stories. And that's that. Now, there's a friend of mine named Smash Ventura. And he is an absolutely brilliant content creator. He is uh, obviously an 80s nut like us. And he does a show that he wants to bring back weekly. In fact, I believe that he has most of 52 weeks of shows already wrapped up. And if you go to Smash Ventura TV, and there'll be links all over the place, go check out Smash Ventura. He does what I think has the caliber, or is the caliber, of a of a television show, of, of almost like a public access style uh, television show. It's, there's, he, it's, it's like a, it's kind of like a skit show almost. Like he'll, he'll do, he'll run down the top five movies of a particular time period, the top five songs off of MTV. He'll even show you the videos of the songs. See, he's not monetized. I mean, the saddest crime of all is that he's got like 250 subscribers, which is absolutely ridiculous. So he's not doing it for any kind of monetization. So he can get away with the copyright infringements because he's not getting paid for these videos. But we got to get him there. We get, you know, I know he doesn't want to monetize because it'll mess up his flow, but let's at least get him a thousand subscribers, right? That's, that's kind of the, that's kind of the, the, the baseline for, for YouTube. You know, that, that kind of says, all right, you're, you're in the game now. Let's get the guy to a thousand subscribers. Okay. I have, I have, you know, 2,800 something. If uh, 750 of you go over and subscribe to Smash Ventura, Smash Ventura TV, then we'll get him there. And he deserves it. Why? Well, many reasons. He's a very nice guy. He's a brilliant creator. And he did all the intros for me. All the intros for all my shows were done by Smash Ventura for the grand total of zero point zero dollars, and um, like he almost acted like he was honored to do them. <laughs> so let's let's give Smash Ventura the notice, the love, the eyes, the following that he deserves. One hundred percent deserves Smash Ventura. Smash Ventura TV. Links will be below. Go subscribe. I want to check his subscriber count daily, and I want to see it go up by 50 a day from all of you guys. If you like what I do, you'll like what he does, you know. Uh, plus, I'm on the show. I have, a, I have a segment on the show, the Toy Cave of Doom. Yeah, that's right, the Toy Cave of Doom, where he made me up to look like Indiana Jones. Because that's just how creative the guy is. I mean, look at my intros. Look at the Wrestling with the Past intro where my head is on Hulk Hogan's LJN body. I mean, come on. That's brilliant. You know, <laughs> look at my uh, collecting is half the battle intro, where I am a G.I. Joe. That's pretty huge. Go subscribe and watch Smash Ventura, please. It's for a good cause. That's that, I think. I think... Uh, I think we'll wrap it up and uh, do your part. Let me know what you want the wife and I to do on a show. Give me some show ideas for her and I. Um, and go subscribe to Smash Ventura and look forward to the week of programming on the New 80s Revolution. That is all. Good night now.